to Miss Kelly's Book Nook for another episode of I Can Be a dot dot dot. Today is all about I Can Be a World Leader. So our book today is called If Kids Ran the World, written and illustrated by Leo and Diane Dillon. So what would the world be like if kids ran the world? Well, let's find out. If kids ran the world, we would make it a kinder, better place. Maybe we'd run the world in a big tree house and everybody would be welcome. We'd take care of the most important things. We know people are hungry, so all over the world, everyone would have enough to eat. The food would taste delicious and it would make people healthy and strong. Kids who had extra food would help bring it to people who needed it. Everyone would have a safe place to live. Bad housing would be fixed and new housing wouldn't ruin the land or sea. No matter how sick people were, they would have the medicine they needed. If you were lonely in a hospital, kids would come visit you and let you play with pets. Somebody friendly would help you with a big smile. Everyone would laugh a lot more. Kids would have more picnics and games and funny books and movies. People would spend time playing and less time worrying. No bullying would be allowed. You could climb trees or dress up and dance and sing just for fun. Kids could act very silly. All children would go to good schools where every teacher was nice and had lots of books, music, and art. Classes would be exciting and fun. Schools would serve yummy meals and have great sports and big playgrounds. Kids would love school. People could wear any kind of clothes and no one would tease them. Children would all live with people who loved them. More forests would be planted and protected. All the beaches, pools, and parks would belong to everyone. There would be no clubs or places that kept some people out. Friendship, kindness, and generosity would be worth more than money. People would take care of the planet and animals and plants. Nobody would throw trash on the ground or in the ocean or make the air dirty. People would have religious freedom and nobody would punish them or call them names. Everyone would learn the happiness of being thankful. Even if they were busy, people would remember to stop and see the beauty of a sunset or a rainbow. All over the world, people would feel safe with one another. People would live in peace together. No more hate. Everybody would learn how to forgive. If kids ran the world, would these things be possible? Yes, we think so. Because kids know that everyone can learn to share. Kids know how to try to do their very best. And kids know that the most important thing in the world isn't money. Or being king or queen or pushing other people around. It's love. Giving it, sharing it, showing it. And that's why, if kids ran the world, we'd make it a wonderful place for everyone to live. So, 
That's our story for today. Let's take a moment and have a discussion. All right, let's chat. So a lot of grown-ups think that kids have no idea what's going on in the world. Well, I can tell you that is so not true. Kids absolutely know what's going on in the world, both locally and abroad. So have a discussion with your kids about what they see is going on in the world and what concerns them and what they would like to do to help. And see if you can't brainstorm some ideas to help as a family or as a community because kids often have some very unique solutions to some very complicated problems. So make sure you take the time to listen to your kids and find out what problems they want to address in this world. It's that time again. It's time for an activity. So, all of the nations in the world obviously have many, many differences. But you could argue that they all have at least one thing in common. They all have a flag. Now, we tend to think of flags as just being representative of a country or a state, but it just means a group of people. So it could be a family flag or it could even be an organization. But the thing is about flags is that they're a symbol of unity, a symbol of pride to the people who belong to them, and it brings people together. So that made me think, well, if flags represent unity and bringing people together, why don't we have a flag for the world that brings the whole world together? So that's our activity for today. So when you're designing your flag, the first thing I want you to do is to think about the overall design, okay? So flags come in lots of different styles. So this one right here, this is called a saltire. So it's got an X right down the middle. This one here is called Paul, P-A-L-L. -L. It's got kind of a sideways Y on it. This one is called Fesses, which is just three horizontal lines. We have the Nordic cross, which has a cross down there, slightly off center. We have the symmetric cross that goes straight down the middle. We have quarterly, which is divided into four sections. You have chevron, so this shape right here is called a chevron. We have border, which is just a plain rectangle with a border. And then we have the canton here, and if you recognize it, that's the shape that our American flag is used on. So we have just this box up here in the left-hand corner that's where we have our blue with our stars, and then this is where we put our stripes. So, when you're designing your flag, this is the first thing I want you to think about, is what kind of layout do you want in your flag? You could choose one of these, or you could design your own. So, the next thing I want you to think about is the color, okay? Color represents different things as well. So, this is a map of Jamaica, but it's got their flag on it. So Jamaica's flag is shaped like a regular flag, but I wanted to show you these three colors. So they chose that saltire shape where it's got that X down the middle, and their colors are black, yellow, and green. And so those all represent, in fact, in Jamaica they say it's not yellow, it's gold. So black represents the strength of its people the yellow, or gold, represents its wealth and its golden sunshine, and the green represents its beautiful plants. So, that's the next thing I want you to think about, is what kind of design, so come up with your layout, and then come up with your colors. So, what I decided to do, I chose this nice sunny yellow because I wanted to show that we're all under the same sun. Now I went with a saltire shape with the X down the middle in a nice blue to represent the oceans. And something you might hear frequently is coming from the four corners of the world. So that's how I thought of using this shape. The idea is that the oceans don't separate us, they bring us together. So the idea is to draw you into the center here. 
And then all of these little circles here in the center represent all the different people in the world. And so, and it's in a larger black circle because a circle has no end or beginning. So the idea is that we are always connected to each other. And the reason I chose black is because if you combine every color in the rainbow, which means bringing together all of the people, if you took some paint in every color and you mix it all together, what color are you gonna get? You're gonna get black. So this is the color of all of the people coming together as one. So this is my example of a flag for the world. What can you come up with? I can't wait to see them. And remember, videos are good, one-on-one -on -one is better. Read with your kids. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.